They also have some new movie releases that you can win. <laughs> all right, well, coming out today, first of all, we've got The Crudes, A New Age. This is coming at us from Universal. This is uh, the continuation of the animated story that follows the lovable caveman family as they discover a safe, walled-in community to live. But then they have to figure out a way to get along with the Bettermans, which is a family that's a couple steps up on the evolutionary ladder. Of course, the two families are going to be forced to cooperate when a new threat emerges from outside that wall. Well, Valentine's Day is coming up, so that means we've got a couple of romantic classics. Uh, the first one's coming from Paramount. It's Love Story, the Oscar-winning movie starring Ryan O'Neill and Ally McGraw about two Harvard students who meet and fall in love and then tragedy strikes. This movie caused a box office sensation when it was first released in 1970 and the line love means never to having to say you're sorry was instantly added to the cultural lexicon. Also out from Paramount this week is Elizabeth Town. This is a movie stars Orlando Bloom as a shoe designer who loses both his father, his job, and his girlfriend and is saved from the pits of despair when he meets an unstoppably positive flight attendant and then she's played by Kristen Dunst. Finally, we have, because uh, it wouldn't be Valentine's Day without a shout out to one of the best 80s slasher movies, that's My Bloody Valentine, which is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. It's a Canadian horror movie about a killer coal miner stalking the small town of Valentine Bluffs. It's basically a Friday the 13th clone, but it's better than most. Uh, to win one of these movies, all you got to do is jump on over to our website, that's mystateline.com, and register on our contest page. All right, thanks so much, Colin. Time right now, 8.30.